Okay, so I've got a little little work table set up here, and uh, I've been <clears throat> doing some new experiments. I had to get a better voltmeter, um, slightly better than the $5 Harbor Freight that had served me pretty well um, <clears throat> doing my small uh, circuitry experiments and recharging batteries. I made a desulfator. Uh, basically is what it is, a desulfator that uh, only cost about eight bucks out of a turn signal. I'll show you that in another video some other time. But uh, what I've been working on is this. Um, now this is the first formula made solely from materials that I was able to find uh, immediately, like go to the hardware store and buy something and then go to another store and uh, buy something. It was a little more expensive this way and it's not ideal. Um, but this is literally <clears throat> conductive ink. So I've made some conductive ink. It's comparative to the stuff that you buy online for $25 for a bottle this size. Um, cost me a little bit more than that to make this, uh, just because the materials are harder to get locally here in Albuquerque. Um, and then I, I took that and I took a paintbrush and I painted it onto this tile. <clears throat> Um, and the, I have it plugged in to a wall wart here, um, a, whatever the transformer, um, DC converter transformer. That's actually from a Sega Genesis. Um, it's a nine volts DC, 1.2 amps. So it's not very much amperage that's running through here. Now this, it is live, so you don't want to touch any of this cause it's live. But I'll take the uh, voltmeter and show you. Um, see if I can put this over here one-handed. Um, see if I can do this. I'll put it so that you can see the screen and see what I'm doing at the same time. So if I just take these two leads, you can see that there's some voltage moving from one side to the other, about three volts. Um, now if I spread that further apart, um, I'm going to touch it. Get my fingers all up in there. Let's see if I can spread these apart far enough to get the other reading here so from end to end it goes to 12 volts so 9 11 11 25 um, and then I come in just a little bit and you see the voltage change uh, what I'm actually going for is resistance <clears throat> and not to knock the tile off onto the ground while I'm talking to you so I have a, a thermometer here infrared thermometer this is just cheap from Harbor Freight it's one of the challenges that I'm having is trying to work with uh, uh, very inexpensive tools and instruments. So, <clears throat> so the general uh, environment is 59 degrees in here. I'll do the wall too. Um, 61 degrees. Yeah, so 61 degrees on that little metal box right there. This one's a little different because I've got some nanoparticle on there that uh, is mixed with paint to block the to block infrared but anyway so the temperature that I'm getting here after having it on for a couple of minutes is about what is that 61 degrees 61.7 on the sheetrock right there um, 61.7 on the on the box so 61.7 to 63.3 oh there we go 63.6, some slight variations, 64 degrees there. Okay, so we got 64 degrees. Um, you can see where the red dot is. So it's actually warming this tile slightly with just uh, 1.2 amps, which is pretty interesting. Um, <coughs> Now, the, this was inspired by a friend of mine, Jessica, who uh, sells um, turquoise down in Old Town. And I wanted to do something because she said she, she wanted a battery-powered um, heat blanket to sit on. And I thought that that was an interesting thing to ask for. Um, but I, I had no idea how I could do that. Well, this doesn't have to be painted on a tile. I can literally paint this on a flexible, heat-resistant plastic and, um, and put that uh, in a cloth on either side and put a temperature uh, control 
uh, thermostat on there and um, and literally power this with 1.2 amps um, look and see after a couple of minutes here put that right where it was there yeah, it's still 64 so this is like not the ideal and this is just the first test that I've done but <clears throat> There's some conductive ink um, that I've made a little bit more resistive, um, so it's it's uh, not ideal in this mixture for like conductive uh, purposes, but it is resistive. It, I'm gonna make it a little bit more resistive because I'm not really happy with the with the temperature variation that I'm getting here, because um, it's just barely. Uh, a few degrees but it's only also 1.2 amps so it is working uh, at least in theory and I thought I would uh, share that with you thanks for watching